leadership and hope is essential because leaders obviously if they're leading means to give influence so you need to influence in the right direction how do you do that by getting the narrative clear and straight and by focusing on the big things that God has given us and not on the minor things if you lead by distraction because you're you're leading by fashion you're leading by trends you're leading by the sociology or the Barna report and sometimes you're preaching out of contemporary issues that aren't really what people need to hear. They need to see God's narrative. If we stay on track with the narrative of God, then we can always look at the present through the lenses of the past and the hope of the future. So the dialectical tension has been worse in the past and it's been better. So that gives us something to measure by also in the present. Today is not great, but it's not maybe the worst. And it maybe could be better. That then points us forward to the future. And how we then apply the promises of Scripture. What does God tell us? When Jesus went, I mean, he basically said two things, wasn't it? Watch and wait. So we keep watching, we keep waiting. And until he comes, we are faithful and do our mission. And that way we'll be found when he comes, doing our job.